come up with this time you went to the Louis Vuitton store at 9.30 when it closed at 9 and he made them open the fucking store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he held them hostage. And like, we'll only leave this open if you spend X amount of dollars. He's like, that's it? And I'm like, what? I'm like pretty rich guy. <laughs> Someone's like, you think Gino knows anyone's name in here? <laughs> and uh, so we started making wagers. How many first names can Gino name? Right? It's like this is like his third or fourth year. This it's not like a few games into his rookie season. I <laughs> and I, th- I, th- I think he got. <laughs> we convinced him to do it. And I I think he named like three. And then there was some guy who couldn't even get the last name. You know, he was like, he's like, I don't know. He's he's seventeen. <laughs> And we're like, what? He's number 17. We're like, Gino, you played with him for four years. You don't know his name? And then he got all frustrated. And (laughs) And then it was all downhill from there. Uh, Day practice. Scheduled for for 12 the next day. And on the way out, I think Gino was like, yeah, I'll see you the next game. I'm not coming to practice. Um, And then we get on the ice and we're playing last puck just around the net. And Gino steals the puck from Craig Adams. Craig was already mad that this guy didn't, that Gino didn't show up. So they start teeing off, like baseball swinging each other. And this is like all the, like the other teams, like they have like their coaches in the stands. Uh, But I'm stretching in the uh, locker room afterwards with Gino. And Craig comes flying in, punts the physio ball at him. And I'm like stuck in between them. And I, I've, I've never been in a fight, not even in hockey, not outside of hockey. 